Welcome back. In this video, we're going to get started with actually creating what we call site definitions inside of Adobe Dreamweaver. Before we dive in though, I want to just give you a quick clarification on a couple of terminologies that you may have heard me reference in previous videos. Now again, overall, we are working with the web. But one thing I want to emphasize to everybody is you may have heard me talk about websites and web pages. Websites themselves, they are actually, at least the way that you know it was taught to me, these are your folders that are holding all of the elements that go into what we see on the internet. So this can be things like web pages. Um, this can also be graphics. This can be videos, the works. This is your big container area that holds everything. On the other hand, a web page or web pages, this is what we display. Now, to be clear, yes, whenever you're working with a web page, you may be pulling a lot of the elements here that come from things such as having, you know, graphics that are being displayed, videos that are being displayed. However, at the end of the day, the web pages themselves, they are all stored in a website, which is what makes a web site definition extremely important in Adobe Dreamweaver. So there's kind of three core elements whenever we get started inside of working with uh, Dreamweaver. So the first item that you want to think about is your folder placement. So for this specific website, where are you going to store or have it hang out? I mean, so for instance, for, you know, I see a lot of folks, they find it easiest maybe to start with the desktop and then they move to a different location. Uh, if it's your personal machine, you know, something like documents or, you know, could absolutely work across the board. The thing is though, with websites, I want to emphasize that I say folder here, we should probably actually also emphasize folders, the plural. The reason being is you are going to want to have a specific folder or website per website. So to give you a for instance, and we'll do this here in a little bit, let's say I draw a folder here, but I call this folder, you know, art 170. So I've decided that for all of my websites or folders that I'm going to create for this course, I'm going to put them all into a single folder here. So now what I may end up with actually having here is now I have these little subfolders that this is like website one, website two, website three, so on and so forth. Each of these being independent from one another. However, I'm just organizing them in this larger main folder here. What I'm actually concerned about whenever I'm uploading or moving websites around is each of these individual websites. As we move on, this will start to get a little bit more comfortable for you. However, for the start of this class and your first projects and activities, I really encourage just starting out with one website. Dreamweaver also offers a fantastic tutorial on setting up a website and kind of taking you through the whole process. I encourage you to take a look at that. So once you have these websites set up and the folder placement determined, we can now move on to the second step, really, which is content creation. Now, in these demo videos that I'm going to start off with here, as far as the channel is concerned, you're not going to see me go too in depth as far as what we're working with. But we are going to look at, you know, just making, you know, a 
basic web page. We'll start with that, just to make sure that the site definition is set up correctly for Dreamweaver. But then from there, on that specific web page, we can begin to add layout and design elements that can start to really bring the overall web page and eventually your website to life. So I wanted to add that in here before we get started in creating the content that's going to be involved as far as working with Dreamweaver's setup. So let me go ahead here and let's kind of take this theory or this concept that I've just discussed and let's actually dive in and get a little bit started with that. So you're going to want to first off determine a location on your computer. I know a lot of folks love to use the desktop. However, you know, going if it's your own machine going into documents or if you have like an external drive or something like that um, or a second hard drive, that can work as well. So long as the location stays the same, that's probably one of the most important things that I can emphasize to all of you is making sure that that location that you have chosen doesn't change throughout the semester. And I'll make a video showing why and how you can actually break the websites. So I'm actually going to choose my documents. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder and I'm going to call this Art 170. Now, again, this is my main storage area. This is where all subsequent website folders are going to be stored. This isn't my main core website folder. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to double click and let me make another second folder here. And what we'll actually do is let's call this website one demo. Okay, so we've kind of gotten the behind the scenes taken care of here. Dreamweaver can actually take care of the rest for us. So let's go ahead and let's open up Dreamweaver. Sure, I am an extremely light clean. Thank you. Okay, so if you haven't watched already, up on YouTube, I do have a web uh, video just talking about the interface of Dreamweaver. The main area that we are going to be working with here, and let me go ahead actually and bring up, let's see if I can, oh, come on, there we go. I'm going to bring up the magnifier so you can see this a little bit better. So over in the corner here, sorry, kind of giving everybody whiplash here with my two monitors. There we go. You're going to want to look in the upper right hand corner here. This first panel for right now, that's all you're worried about is files. What this is, is this is a mirror or a reflection of what is actually going on behind the scenes for your overall computer. Unlike programs, graphical programs, like think in terms of Photoshop, think in terms of Illustrator, where you place things into their files, the PSD or the AI, and you can just save it and you can just pick up that single file and move it from place to place, especially if you choose to embed the content, we don't have that option with Dreamweaver. We work in a folder-based design process. So actually, if you are familiar with working in things like Adobe Premiere, Adobe Audacity, or even After Effects, we have an extra step prior to that point, but the concept is the same, is you have to move the entire folder with all of the content from point A to point B. Now, to help with as far as what we call links and navigation, and as we move forward, I will be explaining those, we do site definitions or we manage sites. This is going to provide you with a bit of in software package organization. So let's go ahead and click on manage sites. And I'm going to bring up this window here. Excellent. So it actually makes it really big for all of you. If this is your very first time working in Dreamweaver, you're probably going to have absolutely nothing in here, and that's okay. 
as you go on, as you keep working with different sites or creating new sites, maybe you have a site for uh, an adopt, uh, animal adoption agency. Maybe you have a site for a food pantry. Maybe you have your portfolio website. Uh, you do a website for your friend's band. You're going to start to populate this area, this kind of large area where the blue is highlighting, and then you're going to just have multiple sites in there. However, for this demo, we just want to get one site created for right now. So I'm going to go ahead here. You're going to want to choose new site since we don't have anything made. For this point of this demo and tutorial, ignore all these other buttons, ignore the get. Right now, we are going to just work with setting up a local site reference. So really, this is where you need to pay attention, is these two items here and just making sure at the top here you're set to site. So the site name, nobody actually sees this. This is strictly for you in, let me go ahead and bump it here, under this Manage Site section, you can already see that the name is unnamed site two. So for instance, I always give the silly example of maybe I'm doing a website about banking but I could actually name the site in Dreamweaver Banana Split. You, anybody who comes and sits at my computer is going to have no idea what I'm talking about, but I'm going to know that the Banana Split site name stands for the banking website. I really do encourage because you can get a lot of websites created and listed in the Manage Site section. Use a, use a descriptive name. So I'm going to call this, we called this, um, website demo, why don't we call it my first site definition. All right, so we went ahead and did that, but now if you recall before we dove into Dreamweaver, external to Dreamweaver, we went under and wherever you chose, in my case I chose documents, and we made that storage folder and then we made that subsequent website folder. So we actually now need to point to that local site folder. To emphasize, when we talk about local as far as web design, we are talking about the machine that you are currently working on. So if I were to stand up from this machine, for instance, and walk next door to my neighbor's machine and sit down, I would have zero access to the website that I made on this computer. So what I'm going to do here is this is your key icon right here. Is you are going to always, whenever you're setting up a site, you're going to need to browse and locate that site folder. So let's go ahead and click on it. And if you recall, I had Art 170. And then here is that first little website demo. So I'm going to go ahead and double click to open that. And what you have up in the corner here with Dreamweaver is it's telling you, hey, choose this root folder. You're always going to want to set whatever the website folder is as your root. Be very, very careful of this. I often see an error where people new to web design, they actually think that, oops, I'm sorry, it seems to be snapping around here, but I want folks to be able to see this. Art 170, for instance. I will see folks often pick this as the root folder. This is not your root folder. Think of this as your storage folder where you are going to have multiple websites listed here. So I'm going to go ahead and re-click on website demo one and you'll see it whenever we get through this process. And I'm going to say select folder. You should now be able to see yours may look different, but you can see here now I've got that root folder set. So I can go ahead now and save what I've set up. Now under manage sites, you should see, you know, name my first site definition. We just set that up. So I can go ahead and say done. Now Dreamweaver is going to refresh for a second. But now whenever you come over to the file section, you see how it's changed a little bit here. It no longer displays like computer and all that sort of stuff. Instead, what you're now actually seeing is if you just hover your cursor over, you can actually see the entire uh, 
as far as uh, the directions to the web page or to the website folder there. So you can see that it's pointing into the website one demo. So normally at this point, I like to tell folks, let's go ahead and test this now. Let's see if we set up our connection correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and choose create new. You could also go up to file and new. We are not going to worry about nitty gritty details here for right now. So you can actually leave this as the default where it's new document HTML and framework none. We can go ahead and give this a title if you really want to. I'll call this uh, my first web page. And then if I bump down a little bit here, we're going to go ahead and do a create. And let me magnify back out here. All right, so if this is what you're seeing here, this is what you want to see. We actually haven't added anything to this page yet. And also, too, we haven't actually saved the document yet. So let's go through that saving process to see why it was important that we set up the site definition. So I'm going to go ahead and do file and save. And what you should notice, there's that website one demo, that site definition that I created. So I'm going to go ahead and come down to file name. And I am going to say index.html. So now, if you look over on the right hand side under file, you see now that you have a reference to that index document there. So if I were, for instance, let me go ahead and zoom back out. Maybe I X out of my panel here. I'm done working for a while. Whenever I come back now, I can see my site definition and I can just double click on index and it's going to open it for me. Now, what did this do on the back end for us? So we had made that art 170 and that first website folder uh, in the My Documents folder. What did it actually do there? Well, let's take a look here. So there's that website one demo that we're working with right now in Dreamweaver. Notice now that you can see that it made the index document for you here, the HTML document. I could actually go one step further here. You can also do this through Dreamweaver, but I can double click and I could tell it, you know, we'll go with Edge for right now. And notice up at the top here, it's actually opening my web page using a web browser. The web page is still local to the computer. Like I couldn't actually copy and paste this if, again, walking to my neighbor's house and walking in and sitting down at their computer. If I try to use, uh, you know, as far as this address is concerned, nothing's going to happen. But I'm able to actually preview inside of a web browser if I so choose. That's the importance of a site definition. It's going to alleviate future issues, especially with creating links to media pieces or to other web pages, such as uh, links, images, videos, etc. So at this point, I would encourage you maybe go and try and make a second site definition. If you make too many site definitions and you're like, okay, I've practiced enough. I think I got this. But now you have like 10 site definitions. I'll go ahead and zoom in one more time here. You can click up here on this drop down where your site definition is and you can click on manage sites. Now that you have site definitions, notice down in the corner here, the minus symbol becomes active. You can delete the selected sites. I would at least leave the one here because I'm also going to do a second video kind of introducing some basics for inserts. But otherwise, you can just keep the lists here and it'll keep on going for you. And that is the basics of creating a site definition in Adobe Dreamweaver.